In this video, we're going to go over SSH and ICMP tunneling. That just means taking regular internet traffic, IP traffic, and encapsulating it in another protocol like SSH or ICMP ping. Um, this can be useful in a number of different scenarios when you might not have regular internet access, but uh, other protocols like SSH or being able to ping uh, are allowed. So in order to do this, we're going to use Amazon Web Services. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is launch an EC2 box. I don't have any running instances, so I'll hit Launch Instance and start a regular Ubuntu server. And this is going to be the server that I tunnel to, or tunnel through, rather. Um, You'll see this is free tier eligible for small boxes. So if you sign up for AWS, you'll get uh, basically a year free of small resources. Uh, but even if you're not on the free year, uh, it's, it's pretty cheap um, if you're not using this uh, too frequently. So I'm going to review and launch. It has a little warning about my security group. So I'm going to edit security groups here. And I'm going to use this box later for uh, ping tunneling, so I'm going to also allow ICMP traffic uh, from everywhere. Now, this does mean that anyone can ping your box, so uh, possibly not the best security setup, um, but it may be required uh, for, for what you want to do. For instance, if you're, uh, you want to keep this running and access it from some currently unknown computer later. Uh, you can always password protect to, to help with that. Um, and I'm going to set up SSH access, and that will be just for my own IP. Review and launch. And I can go ahead and launch now. Let me create a new key pair. And I'll name this Tunnels. And download it and launch my instance. Now I'm going to take this PEM file. Let me click on my instance and see it loading here. Pending, all right. I'm going to take this PEM file and load it into Kali, uh, my VM. So I'm copying over my private key now, and let me go out to my Kali box. And I'm going to put this in my SSH folder in, we'll call it ec2.pem. If I just paste that in and write it out, I'm going to do one more thing in setting up SSH through this box. Um, I'm going to set up a config file, and this will help uh, make it a little easier without having really long lines when I'm SSHing in or running commands. Um, so first I want the host, which will be that uh, now running EC2's public IP. So I'll copy that in. And within that, I specify my default user, which is Ubuntu on an Ubuntu box. The host name, which is again, we can just use that IP. Default port, which is 22 for SSH and my identity file, which is that file I just added and called EC2. I'll save that out. And that's about it. You don't need admin access on the box. We saw that it was running. And we don't even have to install anything on it so long as we can uh, access it via SSH. So I'm going to use a program called uh, Shuttle. S shuttle, uh, shuttle with an extra S, and in order to, to get it, uh, all we have to do is pip install S shuttle. Uh, in this case, I already have on this box, so it'll be requirement satisfied. Oh, actually, one last thing we all have to do is we should change the permissions on that uh, EC2 file. So now, and we can check. Uh, we only have root read permissions uh, on that file to secure it. So now I can run uh, S shuttle to connect 
It has a really handy DNS flag, which means we're also doing DNS tunneling. So uh, things like dig will also run through this tunnel. And I just point this at my Amazon IP again. And I can specify an IP uh, address or mask that I, I want to uh, route through it. In this case, I'll just route all my traffic through it. Yes, I trust myself. And it says client connected. So let's open up a browser and see how we did. I'm also going to capture this in Wireshark. So we do have an internet connection and we can see that the traffic we're sending is actually all SSH traffic. One last test, let's see if the uh, DNS flag worked. If I just open up a new terminal, let's dig for Google. And sure enough, that is also going through SSH uh, back and forth from that Amazon IP. Let's move on to ping tunneling, ICMP tunneling. We're going to use a tool called Hans. Um, there are a number of others, ping tunnel, ICMP TX, ICMP tunnel. Um, we're actually going to set it up on my local machine using Mac OS. Um, but since we have SSH into that EC2 box set up already, uh, let's start with that uh, because we'll need to, to make uh, a few modifications on that Amazon box. So first thing first, we need to update our packages. And then install a, a couple tools to help us compile Hans. And if I go out here and look for Hans Tunnel, this is the main page for it. Uh, you can see that it has links to the source as well as binaries for Mac and Windows. Let's go out to the source here. And I'm just going to copy this address. Actually, I'll copy uh, this address. and we will wget that file. And then we're just going to unzip it and make it, compile it. If we take a look at what's in there, so far, so good. Make. And now we have that Hans executable here. And we can run it. So I'm going to specify a, a device. This TUN0 is a, a tunnel adapter. Um, just like you have a Wi Fi or Ethernet adapter, we're, we're creating this virtual tunnel. Uh, I'm also going to specify a password. Uh, let's choose a strong password. Don't do that, actually. And we can see it opened and detached, so it should still be running. Let's take a quick look. Uh, and here's the process. Now we need to do uh, a little configuration of IP tables. Um, so that we route traffic correctly. Um, I should also say the all of these commands are uh, in a link in some notes in the description of this video, so you don't need to um, take down all of them directly from the video here. Uh, the first thing we're doing here is setting the maximum transmission unit size, essentially the uh, size of uh, packets allowed. and with these next few commands, um, what we're setting up is IP forwarding to allow uh, essentially everything that reaches this EC2 box, um, it's going to send back out to the uh, internet wherever it was 
heading to, uh, stating it was heading to, um, once it uh, unencapsulates these packets, uh, ask, acting as if they are its own requests. Oh, I might need sudo here. And when it receives responses back, it's going to forward those back through the tunnel. So with those commands, which again uh, are in the, the linked notes, we should be all set. Now we're going to go out to my local computer. I would download this OSX binary. Uh, you could also compile it from source if you like. I, I already have it running. Um, the other thing you'll need, there are a couple links here for drivers. Uh, you know, TunTap is the, the name of this driver that you'll need uh, in order to set up tunnels on your, your local machine. So let's go out to a terminal here. I've gone to um, the folder in which I have the Hans executable. And the last thing I'll need is the endpoint public DNS endpoint. So I'm just going to copy that into my notepad and should be able to run Hans and connect to uh, that server now. I'm going to specify that endpoint. Oops. going to use the same password that I specified before and specify the virtual tunnel device. Open detaching should be running. Now the last thing you'll need is the IP command. Um, for Mac, if you use uh, brew, you can brew install IP root to Mac. And we're going to use the, the root command, so this will be IP root for macOS, and in Windows uh, all you need is just root. Alright, so as soon as that completes, let's clear that out. And I'm going to modify my own uh, root settings so that I'm sending all of my traffic over through that server instead. So first we copy over that same command that we did previously. We're going to take a look at what our current default is and we're going to essentially replace this um, with a, a link to the tunnel. So I'm going to copy that public IP And that's going to be via this default. I'm going to delete the previous default. And replace it. And this is the IP that I specified on the other side. So we should be all set. Let's open up Wireshark and take a look at our own traffic. I see a lot of ICMP traffic. Let's just reload a page. We can still get it reasonably fast. A whole lot of requests and replies, but nothing else besides some uh, older TCP. And while we're at it, let's take a look at who I am. And it says my IP is the IP of that Amazon box. Now, the last thing you'll want to do is, of course, be able to revert that, uh, turn that off and get your regular connection back. So in order to do that, I'm going to uh, kill the Hans process. That was a bit aggressive. You might want to be careful if you have other similarly named things. And we're going to add our default back 
I just copy this over one more time, we should be uh, back in business at home.